Now let's change WordPress themes. From the dashboard, go to Appearance, Themes. These are the default themes that come with WordPress. Let's add a new one. Looks like there's 15 featured ones. Let's go to Popular. And there are lots and lots of choices here. I'm going to choose one and preview it. I like that it comes with an image slider already built into the theme. And I like these other features as well. So let's give it a try. Click Install. and then click activate. At this point every theme is different and how you customize it and work with it will actually be unique to that particular theme. So you do have to get to know your theme. This particular one comes with some helpful tips it looks like scattered about it which is good that'll help me get going with the new theme. Let's go ahead and customize it. Again, this experience will be different depending on your theme. Usually there is an area over here and a lot of the settings will be the same such as site title and tagline. However, the features that are offered here are going to vary depending on the theme. This one lets me change colors. I'm going to click Save and Publish. Refresh and see if my colors have changed. Okay, let's see what else we can do. All right, and again, these will vary from theme to theme. I'm going to choose header. See, we have, uh, and then navigation menus. I need to select my main menu, the one that I created earlier. It looks like this theme has a vertical menu. I'm going to delete these user hints for now. Okay, so we have a vertical menu and I don't really like the vertical menu and we do have an option to change it to horizontal looks like we have some options on where to position our menu I'm just going to click save and publish and see what changes are made okay I like that horizontal menu Okay, so let's go ahead and change this slider here. In this content area, I'm going to select the front page. Here are our slider options. There is already a demo slider made, but I want to create my own, so I'm going to select create a slider. I'm going to add some new images that I want to use in a slider. Adding images to WordPress is quite easy. You can just drag and drop. I'm going to select Edit and edit one of these photos. As you can see, there's an option here to add it to the slider. Again, this is unique to this particular theme. I'm going to give this image a title and write a description. Lots of options here. I can adjust the text color. I can create buttons and links. But for now, let's just create a new slider and add this image to it. Okay, let's hit update. Now that we've created that new slider, let's go back to and customize our theme and choose the new slider to be the default slider on our home page. Let's refresh our site. And there we go. Okay, well, a slider is not very exciting if there's only one image in it, so let's add another image back to our media library
Okay, and let's do the same thing to this image. Let's add it to our sliding lemur slider. And let's go ahead and give it a title. And let's add a description. Okay, let's click update. And let's refresh our site. Okay, there we go. We have two images sliding in our new image slider. Let's go ahead and add images to these featured pages here. Going back to the customizer, we once again customize our theme and then find the area that controls those featured images. Here we go, Featured Pages Options. Looks like we just pick three pages that we want to show up on the front. I'm going to pick my About, my Photos page, and my Videos page. After we save, all I need to do now is go to my Pages and add Featured Images. I'll choose the About page here. Down here you can see where it says Set Featured Image. Now all I have to do is choose an image. And now I'll just click Update. I'm going to do that two more times. Again, set Featured Image and choose an image. Don't forget to click Update. Okay, back to Pages. And I'm going to select my video page and add my final featured image. Now I should be able to refresh my site and see my featured images. And there's our featured images. This middle one could be placed better. That's for sure. Um, okay, let's click on Read More. And it takes us to the uh, page. Okay, so everything's working though. The site has a lot of work still that needs to be done, but things are coming together. But things are definitely coming together quickly. Okay, I want to get rid of this heading right here in this image. It's from the old original default template and we don't need it anymore now that we have that slider image up on top. I'm just going to delete the image and delete the text. Better. Okay, so things are looking good. And of course we have an area down here where we can add some widgets and we'll do that in a little bit. I'm going to just close the notice for now. Okay, well, going back to the About page, all these widgets on the side looks pretty messy, and so I'd actually like to move them. So let's go ahead and go to our Widgets page. All you have to do is just drag them out of the widget area. Okay, nice and easy. And let's refresh our About page. Okay, as you can see, there's no more widgets. There's a notice here, but I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. Okay, and as you can see, the widgets are removed from all the pages, which is exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and add a widget to that footer. It looks like we have three areas. I'm going to grab a text widget and just drop it in right here. You can type text directly in the text widget or you can add HTML. Let's refresh the site. And now we have the footer area. 
Let's drag some more widgets in. I'm going to grab a Pages widget, which will just list the pages of my site. OK, there you go. And let's also add an archive to the third widgetized area of our footer. I'll click Display as drop-down just to see what it does. There's our three widget areas, and there's the drop-down. This featured page section here grabs whatever text is available on the page by default. I'm going to change that. Back to the dashboard. I'm going to choose Appearance, Customize. I'm going to go to Content because I want to access the front page. And here is the Featured Page options. So I'm going to actually add my own text right here. I've got some prepared already. And I just need to paste this in. All right, after I hit Save and Publish, I'm going to view the site. And there we go. There's my own custom text. As you can see, if you find a user-friendly theme for your WordPress, putting it together and making it look nice takes no time at all. There's still a lot to be done, but for now, I'm pretty happy with this site.